Uh, oh, are we? That was it. Good morning, e-learners, and welcome to today's episode of Lil Lum's Helpful Art Tips. Uh, a joyous Easter season to you. Today is Good Friday, a day of reflection. And um, I hope that you're taking time out to do that today. Um, Sunday is a celebration, an exciting day. And today's episode is all about uh, painting eggs, which is kind of a, you know, you know, it's a pagan thing. But hey, it's artsy and it's a great way to celebrate. So I think we can ascribe all sorts of meaning in terms of beauty to how... Um, the spring time and things that come with spring, like eggs, are representational, right? The world, the creation, tells the story, the narrative of the great story, and that's exciting. So uh, today we're going to make some beautiful eggs. At least I hope so. Anna Hyde says, Happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. I, isn't that weird? Like, do you, do you say Happy Good Friday? I never know what to say. Um, but indeed, uh, Good Friday. Oof. We know that there is uh, uh, exciting things to come. So that that is really cool. And uh, I wanted to show you a few uh, tips, because it's a tip show, about art on what you can do to decorate eggs. We're going to start with the traditional method, which is using um, vinegar and food coloring. Now, it would have been helpful if I had grabbed the food coloring. Why didn't I grab the food coloring? Um, here, why don't you give a little shout out right out there. Say, grab me the food coloring, please. Hey, Mom. <laughs> this is how we do it on the show. Can you grab the food coloring, please? Okay. It's up in the cabinet thing. We're going to need it to dye eggs. The littlest I... children do not know where it is. That's okay. Is there, is she? I told her yes. She's responding? I think so. Oh, that's yes. good. Okay, good. She looked at me. So what a great, she's up. what a great lady friend. What a great lady friend I have. All right, so you see I got some cans, okay? Um... And what I did was I used a can opener to take the top off of a uh, soda can. This is uh, ice about the sparkly goodness. And uh, I'm going to do that here right now. Let's see if I can, I can do that. So you got you to gotta get it on the inside rim. Click that. Oh, that, I don't know if that felt right, but let's see. We're going to try it. And we're just going to go around the edge. All right. And boop. Once we have that done, gently, we're going to pull this out and... Recycle. Thanks, Mom. Aww. Oh my gosh, she did not want to be on camera. <laughs> she said, no, thank She's you. She's like, no, not going to do okay. it. All right, I got my food coloring, and so I'll show you how that works. I got four colors here, red, yellow, blue, green. You can make purple. Guys, you know about color theory, right? So and you, you can you can make orange and purple, and you can make blue, green, and you can make yellow. Like, So you can do whatever you want. All right. I have taken the top off. Notice the nice lip so you're not going to get cut. Yay. Okay? So it's a safe. The reason I did this is because it, as part of this, you use boiling water. And I was concerned that the plastic might uh, melt. Especially since we accidentally melted a peanut butter jar. Yeah. Earlier um, this week, I tried to clean out a peanut butter jar, like the remnants, to recycle it. And it sort of melted when I used hot water, boiling water. Okay. Also, uh, in addition to a heat safe container, you're going to need this is our egg dipper, okay? Mm, this makes me nervous. If they're hard boiled, though, so it's fine. Yeah, the eggs are hard boiled. Hard or soft. Uh, we, we made them on the e learning cooking show the other day. All right, so I'm, I've got a couple of these. I just want to show you really quick how you can make one at home. You need some good uh, wire clippers, a coat hanger, and then just uh, snippety. Snip that. Oh. Right? We need to have it long enough so we can get it out of the can. Obviously, you can do this with a, like, a Easter egg dyeing kit. But, like, what fun would that be? So, um, is anybody here? Uh, we have one person watching right now. I don't know, because Anna was here, and then Pugs for Life was here, and Pugs. Emma, Emma Van was here. But there's only one person now. Oh. They just, they're just like, I'm here for a second, I'm out. Okay, so I make the little ring, right? And then I just am going to bend this. It's Pugs for Life. Pugs for Life. Thanks Pugs. for watching. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here with me. Huge shout out. All right, so now we have a little egg dipper, homemade. 
little loop, little stem. Mary H. Griffin is here. Hello, Mary. How are you? And Helena. This, Helena. Helena, welcome. See how that's going to work? That's just going to be able to dip all the way down into that can. Okay, so now we've got our tools ready to go. we got to mix up uh, some dyes. Okay, so here's the basic dealio. We need enough boiling water to cover an egg in our container. And I just took this off. It's not quite boiling, but it's it was boiling right before the show. And I can measure this out, half a cup or more. I'm gonna pour that right into here. <laughs> That's hot, I guarantee, because I just touched it. Okay, boop. And then I'm gonna put some in this. You gotta do squeaky squeak. <laughs> when you wipe it off. Oh yeah, yes. hold on. Oh, it is foggy. It's a experience at this point. All right, so we got water enough to cover an egg, an egg, one egg at a time. Now, next ingredient, stinky vinegar. Stinky vinegar. Stinky vinegars. So we're going to take some of this, and I'm going to somehow take this giant jug and put about a teaspoon of vinegar in each one of these. Uh, Is that a teaspoon or a tablespoon? That's a teaspoon right there. Okay. One teaspoon of vinegar. When I was a kid, oh, Lord, help us all. Save us from ourselves. I told, okay, that was plenty in that one. And when I was a kid, um, I used to hate decorating eggs because I hated the vinegar smell. It just kind of make me nauseous. Now I love it. Ow, ow, that is stinking hot. Don't touch, don't touch the cans after putting the boiling oh, water in it's there. it's foggy. <laughs> I didn't want to put it's my fingers. So foggy. I know. Okay, hold on. Getting the shirt. Getting the shirt. Okay. There we go. Okay. So uh Mia Cox has joined us. Mia, welcome. Guys, any preference on color to start with? Yellow, uh, blue, green, red? Any choice? I mean, this is an interactive show right now. While you have the opportunity. Mia just saying, since you're watching right now, I yep. bet you do babysitting. So, like, this is a great thing to do just year-round with the babysitting. Also, red. Red, okay. Pugs for Life says red, and red. then Helena says blue. Okay, well, good, because that, that's what I was going to choose. Blue is my favorite color, um, but I'm going red. What should I go? I'm going to go red in the red can. One, two, three, four, five droppies. One for good measure. Six, okay. You only live once, kids. You only live once. Yellow. Okay, and then blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, in the spirit of um, just seeing how viable these uh, options are, I'm do I I've never done this other than with a kit. So we're doing we're unprofessional. it. Unprofessional. Yeah, this. Not only am I an unprofessional chef, but I am an unprofessional Easter egg dipper. But I am a professional artist, so I trust in my art skills. All right, so we're gonna let uh, this kind of jiggle, jiggle. You could stir it if you needed we to. We could stir it with this, okay? But I'm just gonna go ahead and dip a couple eggs in here and see what happens. So I've got this, I need to have this underneath. And I might just leave it in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Immersing. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, I need to stop getting so close, it's getting hot. Yeah, don't, okay. you can't, stay out of the fog. The fog is not good. All right, this one's going into the blue. Beep. Okay. Um, we're going to uh, set a timer. Hey, Siri. Set a timer for five minutes. Let's see. That's, see, that's show, what... Show us. Show us. Uh, well, that's what I like about technology. Nice. Okay, so that's happening. Well, what else can we do? What else? There's more options. And this one I'm excited to try. Um... I have Wait, no I, think I, know what I have doing. no idea if this is going to work but I'm going to try it. So I borrowed Dakota and and Lady Friends um, nail polish, okay? I didn't know they had so much. And so we're going to yeah. we're going to try this. Try first of all acquire the cheapest yeah, literally the cheapest literally the cheapest but most colorful nail polish you can get access to, okay? Notice that I have my table covered with a junk towel from from the last episode um, where I said use reuse your bath towels. Kyle is here. Kyle, welcome. All right. So my understanding is this has to happen uh, somewhat rapidly. I don't know, guys. Like I said, it's an experiment. Are First you gonna time. dip them? We're gonna dip it. And okay. You don't have to do it crazy fast. But Not do. crazy, but I gotta I gotta keep on top of it. Do, yes. So I've got purple and green. 
think those are acceptable combinations. How about we go green main and then purple highlight, okay? So we just need to pour some of this on here. Hopefully it pours out. Tell me it's going to pour out, Dakota. Is it not going to? I have no idea. What? Is this like spill proof? Like what? Is that even? Do I need it? Did you shake them up? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Do you Isn't it common knowledge that you shake nail polish? I, I, don't, I don't do this. I don't do it. Like you shake it and then you take it and then you hit it against This one your seems palm. Listen, this one seems liquidy. Oh yeah. That's because it's the instant dry. Oh. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Dry. It's not going to instant dry. And then I just shook this a little bit. And then let's see if I can get some of this in here. Oh, oh no, man. Here. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to just Dip? No, not even, not even a dip. Oh, there, there. Okay, something. Oh, there, 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 there. This one, this one's sinking. That's probably because it's old. Okay, that's this is cool. This is cool. I'm down. I'm down with that. Now let's let's see what we can do. We're gonna take an egg, preferably one that's not like cracked open after it was hard boiled, and then we're just gonna dip this in. And I'm trying to avoid. Oh. I had, oh Lord. Oh, what do I, like, what do I even do? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Because I have, I have my Easter egg tray here. And I'm just going to plop it in one of these little ditties. Boop. That was, it was a little clumpy, but kind of cool. It's okay. I, personally, I know this one's going to. Okay, let's get some, right out. let's get some blue in there. We're just going to go with what we have. Um, kind of marbly. Griffin would like to know what's in the bowl. Like nail polish, is it water? Oh, it is water. It is water in the bowl, and I'm just pouring the nail polish. And Kyle said, so basically, top. we're hydro dipping. We eggs. are. We're hydro dipping eggs. You could do spray paint with this, but this just seemed um, less uh, breathe I hazard. I will be doing a Van Gogh painting on okay. it. Okay. Because and this could be the start of the Van Gogh painting. Yes, it indeed could. Okay. That was good. That was good. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. All right. Again, I'm, I'm here's, and I'll tell you about what I made here. I'm trying not to touch it because the nail polish is kind of sticky. Oh, there. Too late. Too late. Just wipe. Gonna wipe it on the towel because the towel is recycled. Okay. Um, Mary, Mary Griffin says thank you, and Kyle says I've never seen hydro dipping done with nail polish, only with spray paint. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that as a female, I've seen multiple videos of people that do this with their actual nails. Act, uh, do it with the nails? So they like put it in there and then they do it on their nails. So it's a thing. So normally I would... Oh. <coughs> wow, I would probably change this out. That is not going to come out. Okay. You could take... Um, I'm going to take this one. Take the extra wire that you have and scoop it all out. Scoop. I'm going to scoop it. I could. I don't, do I want to? Do I... It's smelling strong in here. Yeah, it's nice. I we like had that. to open the window. I like that. It is it is a little stinky. All right, so I took some extra out. Um, let's see if I can do a little. This is kind of, ooh, that's kind of nice. I like that. It's put, red. It's red, uh, like a... Sparkle? Rougey. That's a very rougey red. Okay. Boop. I feel like I can go with a little... Oh, timer's done. Okay, hitting stop on timer. We're going to take the other eggs out. Doing red and purple. Red and purple. What a combo. Helena says it's called water marbling um, when you do it to your nails, and I did it all the time when I was younger. So that's cool. I'm glad. Oh, I thought you took a cotton ball for a hot second. That one looks cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Boop. All right, so we got a couple. You can see the marbling. I think it's kind of cool. Um, you're probably going to get a different effect depending on the quality of the nail polish that you're using or the combination of colors. Might as well just use up what I have in here. I'm just gonna go full. I'm gonna go full. Oh, that one's cool. Pretty cool. Your thumb's pretty cool. My thumb is ruined. <laughs> you should just leave it yeah, on. I'm the, uh, apparently I am. <laughs> apparently it's gonna be staying for days. Okay. This would be one of those things that, like, when I was little, my parents would say, "Oh no, we have we have church on Sunday, and your your thumb is purple and, and the tip of your finger." Oh no. 
They're good. Right, let's They're good see. people. All right, see? Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. So right now... It kind of worked. It kind of worked. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, like that's a good starter that's for a good your one. Van Gogh. Okay. Yeah, right? You start with this. By the way, you know, again, those kits you can buy... Am I going to do this without dropping? <gasps> they come... Uh, this is stuck to my finger now. They come with um, little stands for your eggs, right? But I just took a paper towel tube. You can use toilet paper tubes if you like your cardboard covered in microscopic amounts of feces. But um, I would stick with the paper <laughs> towels. And um, I just cut a little snippet off. I And here, here's what I did. I cut a little snip. Okay. I cut. And then I close it off just a little bit with a piece of scotchy tape. Make sure one end's fairly flat so it's stable. And then you've got yourself an egg stand. All right, nice. Kyle easy. says you start and end with that. Nah, we're gonna paint over it. Oh, that is not gonna come out, is That it? is, okay, there we go. We're good, we're okay. That one looks cooler. I like this one. My skills, oh. Dad, I think that we should do this. Mia Cox says that if you have a white crayon, yeah. you can use it on the eggs to make designs and then it leaves white spots. That is so true. And that's another thing I totally didn't even bring into the studio with me. There's crayons out there. White crayon relief. So you can put the crayon on the egg. Okay. Thanks, Mia. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out to you for reminding me that there's a million things you can do. And you can put a design on there and then you can dip and it and the wax will resist it. So you'll have um, your design kind of etched in there, which is cool. Now, there's a million things you can do. Dakota said she's going to paint her egg. Remember, uh, again, from when was this? Was it yesterday or Tuesday? Yesterday. Tuesday. Tuesday I did this? I think so, yeah. I think I did this yesterday. Oh, so sure. we, I have this paint, and I could always basically just come in here with a brush and um, I'm just going to use a little bit of that water because we are unprofessional because we're unprofessional that way and I feel like we could do one more egg in yeah, there we're just going to do you want to oh Am you I know what you should do you what? should just drop an egg in there let it sit for a second and then get yeah just drop it all the way in there because then it like oh and then you can take it out that's funky it. well let's try that let's take that right out Boop, 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 boop. I'm trying to do it without scraping it off, but that's a neat one. And I got the goop on the bottom a little bit. So sparingly on your colors. Oh, yeah. oh that that got a little globby because it hit the bottom. It's okay though. But I do like the idea of just dropping in the whole thing in there. Just drop it. I was a little confused as to why you were just dipping cap. I don't know. Things, I didn't so. want to. I didn't want to lose it. You know, I'm. I'm sort of. I'm. Ugh, ugh. We have nail polish remover. You're yeah. fine. Okay. All right. So I'm getting a little bit of. This is just acrylic paint, in here. Getting a little acrylic that you paint. Stole from your kids. I stole it from my children for the birdhouses. We still have to do. Maybe that'll be an episode. I built mine. I still have to paint it. And um, oh, that's got a. That's a big crack in there. Taking this one. You can just. You can start painting on this. Okay, my hands are so not stable. Cause you've been drinking coffee. coffee. It's good to clarify what I've been drinking. Zinnia Jones is with us. Hello, Zinnia. So you can make all sorts of interesting designs here using mm -hmm. using your patience. Simon Design would make some wild eggs, but he's not here. He's not here, like, even though he's on Instagram, but whatever. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So you can literally just paint your designs on. Now, I think I'll make, I'll give you a little bit of a, a note here, okay? Um, so you've seen a couple methods. Clearly, water and vinegar with food-grade dye. Totally safe, okay? Uh, feel free to eat that egg. It makes me a little nervous to think that later on I might go back and eat an egg that I've covered in nail polish. I, I just don't think that's a good idea. 
So don't, I, to be honest, don't eat that one. And I'm not even entirely okay with you eating an egg that you've painted with acrylic paint because again, acrylic paint is not designed to be food safe and edible. So it is important that however you decorate your egg, if it is purely for decoration and you're using some of these materials that are not uh, safe for consumption, then please don't eat the eggs. Just look at them as beautiful objects. If you, um, if you don't want to waste the egg, instead of hard boiling it, just crack the top. Okay, this, these are all hard boiled, but put a little hole in the top with a pin or um, a, just a little poker and on, on the bottom, blow it right out the end and use that for scrambled eggs in the morning. Then you have a nice intact shell that you can paint. Just don't break it. Yeah, don't break it. You gotta be careful. You can paint the shell and then you don't have to worry about wasting the egg food. Okay? Well, kids, um, this has been an exciting episode. And I hope you try one of these techniques at least. I'm gonna dye a few more eggs in here. Um, and I hope that you are inspired to do something beautiful. We'll probably follow up. I'll, um, I'll go ahead and post Dakota's Van Gogh egg and um, you know anything else that I do with eggs. I'll, I'll show you some detail of these later. So, hey, have a blessed good Friday. Thanks for joining me for the show. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful Easter. I'll see you next week. Yep, yeah. Have a great one.